Hey YouTube, here I got a little tricks video, um, tips and tricks video um, for spot welding. Uh, these little body holes where the trim used to be. Now a trim set for this truck, this 1969 F250, is about 600 bucks just for the upper trim. And the lower trim is 600 bucks too, so I'm not going to pay that, to, it's just too much just for some plastic. So what I'm doing is I'm filling in these holes and I just want to give you a few tricks on how to do it. Okay, so first things first is you want to sand it down. You just sand around the area, you know, just make it clean so you can get a nice clean weld on it, right? And then what you want to do is you can see right here, let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, so I started the weld at that top part right there, right? Above the hole, right? And then I worked my way over to the left side, right? And what that does is, is the metal, when the metal comes down or gets hot, it's like water, right? So it wants to drip down. So you just work your way from the top and then you go to the bottom, right? You And it's literally only takes like two and a half seconds maybe three seconds just to do just to fill in one of those small little holes okay and uh yeah so just be very careful um and depending on how thick the metal is too um the thinner stuff is harder to do but to start from the top start from the pretend this is the hole right here start from the top and then work your way over to the top and then slowly you know get the top welded and then fill in the bottom okay and what that'll do is the top will fill into the bottom once it gets hot enough <coughs> so um that's how i do it at least and then what i do is i take uh i take this paddle sander you know and then i smooth it off see and there's there's a lot of other different ones that you can use. Um, the paddle sander isn't my favorite one to use. What I like to use the most, and you can see I've done a whole row of them right there. I'll show you the other side. I've already got those ones done. Can't even tell they're there, except for the brown paint. Um, I'll show you my favorite tool for sanding these little fill welds I like to use a tool like this what it is and it uses these flat discs they work the best for me they <coughs> it's easier to get it smoother smoother so it looks like you know nothing's ever been done to it the paddle sander is kind of rounded so you get those little lines of where it has sanded. I'll show you an example of what I'm trying to tell you. Let's see. Okay, this one is a prime example. Okay, I mean, you can see the sanding lines. See the line right there? If you use that flat sander, you won't get that um as much it's a lot easier to control it but this is a work truck so i'm not too concerned about everything but you know just as a general rule of thumb it works the best um so yeah that's just my little uh trick on how to fill in those fillet holes um start from the top work your way down to the sides and then once you get the top done and if it's a big hole uh you know start from the top fill in the top and then fill in the bottom and then go back to the top and then fill it in that way and that's what works best for me and uh as you can see this hole right here was a it was a good it was a good hole about that big these other ones were really small ones so piece of cake on those ones <clears throat> you can see this was a a bigger one 
and so there was a hollow spot right there so I filled it in and I'll just go back and sand that down you can see here started from that side worked my way around and that's what works best for me um, yeah so back here you can see that it was a bigger hole you can see how the there's a little hollow spot right it's an indentation right there what I'll do is I'll go back and I'll fill that in and then sand that back down that's what I was showing you on the other one um, it's a lot easier to do this with MIG than flex core or stick welding stick welding it's almost nearly impossible unless you have a lot of experience um, by far MIG welding is the easiest easiest and cleanest so hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and uh, i'll see you next time